Art Center in Springfield Township is just one of many places destroyed by sprinklers bursting on Christmas morning. Take a look. This video behind me shows the mess employees walked into this weekend. These recent situations are overwhelming phone lines for plumbers in the tri-state. It's a scene on Christmas Day nobody expected. It was pouring out the doors, pouring downstairs. It was pretty devastating. Sewing machines, art supplies, and floors all destroyed in a matter of seconds. We left all of the doors open to make sure we had air circulation throughout the entire building. We checked on it twice, actually, throughout the week. And uh, we thought we were, you know, going to be good and fine and uh, did not expect this call at all. Executive Director of Arts Connect Kimberly Flam tried to prepare, but the dramatic drop in temperature was too low for appliances to withstand below zero degrees. Our teachers just got off a pandemic, you know, and they had time that was off and we really need to keep them employed. Our staff, it's really important for us to make sure that they have work and they will have work. It's a common tale across the tri-state. I don't think anybody was really ready for it. Plumber John Messeter has received more than 150 calls for service since Friday. It's the busiest he's been in 10 years. Probably turned 200 people away. That's really not an exaggeration. I mean, it was a lot. Dupps Plumbing tells its customers the best thing you can do in extreme cold is to keep your home as warm as possible. That's the biggest thing. When it gets cold, the temperatures just drop and you there's not really much you can do except just try to insulate and heat as much as you can. This building that housed art and creativity for hundreds is crafting a new path forward. The heart and the soul of this place is in our students, it's in our staff, it's in our teachers, um, and we just want to keep that going the best we can. The executive director of Arts Connect tells us they are looking to use the Grove Event Center behind their building to continue classes. But if you have any available space students can use, you can contact Kimberly Flam. We have her information on our website. Reporting in studio, Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5.